Does it bug you when the water runs down your paddle and gets all over you and you get wet and nasty? Well, I'm here to test three options to stay dry today. Stay tuned. When you paddle a kayak, you can either use a low angle or a high angle paddle stroke. The low angle basically uses your torso while the high angle uses your arms. And if you're using the high angle, it's more likely that water is gonna drip down your paddle, move down the handle, and then get all over you. And in a long day, this can get obnoxious. Well, I'm gonna test three different ways to stay dry today. The traditional drip ring is what most people have. Then you have the do-it-yourself approach of just cutting off a slice of pool noodle. And then you have what I think will be the best, which is a piece of duct tape. The first option we're gonna test is the traditional drip ring. And on all these experiments, I've got a piece of paper towel taped on right here. So if any water gets beyond the a drip ring or the alternatives, we will see it on the paper towel. So I'll do a backward stroke here and then raise as if I'm doing a high angle stroke. I see water dripping off right here at the drip ring, so it's doing its job. Let's see if any got beyond it onto the paper towel. And the paper towel is dry, so drip ring is a good to go option. Here is option two. I've got the pool noodle section in place, paper towel. And let's go ahead and paddle backward and raise it up. And it looks like it's doing a pretty good job. The water is running right off the drip ring. But when I look at the paper towel, some of it penetrated through the inside of the pool noodle. Now this is the large size. If you put the small size on here, well, let me go get one of those and we'll try it. I put one of the small size noodles on here and it is definitely tighter on the body of the handle, and so I doubt the water is gonna penetrate through like it did on the larger size. Let's check it out. Backward paddle, lift up. Water drips off the bottom. Let's look at the paper towel. And the paper towel's dry. The final option is gonna be a piece of duct tape. I've got the tape set up here. Basically all you do is you take a piece of tape take a long skinny strip and then you fold it back on itself and the water is going to run down the paddle, hit the tape and then drip off. Well, let's give it a shot. And it does, but I did notice there's a little bit of water that comes down this side and has dripped down to at least right here. So the tape is not 100% effective, but let's look at one other option, which is the tape plus a drip ring. And I think that's gonna be the best solution. So here's why I think this is gonna be the best solution. The tape is gonna intercept all the water that's coming down here, running down your paddle and then along the bottom edge. And then the drip ring will work for any water that gets past that, or if you happen to dip your kayak paddle in beyond the tape. So let's get this organized and do the test. And we see water dripping here and water dripping here where it came down the top of the paddle, ran around the side and then hit the drip ring. But it's a lot less water than without the tape. So my conclusion is that why not combine both methods and put a piece of tape on there and then the drip ring. And if you wanna use a pool noodle, use the small size. This is totally dry, nothing got through. So I think that's what I'm gonna do in the future with my paddle. What do you guys think? Throw the comment down below, thanks.